it was a long journey. It was the first flight for me after the pandemic situation. And some obstacles came again. We never know what could happen. That's what makes it a bit different. This protects us and uh, makes us uh, healthy. It feels good to be back on the plane. Worldwide in the different countries. So I think that's just, that's really the best of it, just being surrounded by, by the best. COVID pandemic is developing and changing daily. So it was also the concept and the whole planning. Um, it wasn't easy because um, almost every week something new came and some obstacles came again, which didn't make our previous concept work. So we had to update and change our concept, our working flow. Um, but the organizing committee was uh, very flexible on that and willing to, to adapt to those new changes. The motivation and dedication was extremely high to host this event to make our sport visible again, um, as best as possible and as safe as possible. So we were constantly monitoring the health regulations here in Sweden, the situation of the pandemic worldwide. How can we make this event as safe as possible? And um, setting up our measurements in accordance to what is the pandemic at this point of time. Well, uh, it was a, a, a little bit weird trip for me to come here because uh, we had to do, uh, of course, a test and it has to be negative to leave uh, to, for Stockholm. And, uh, you know, it, it was the first flight for me after the pandemic situation. We are now to fly all together in an airplane since now we are get used to a uh, big distance between us. Uh, so basically our, our travel started uh, on Friday because uh, we had the first uh, test and uh, <laughs> we were already like uh, so worried about this because we feel good but you never know. And um, it was uh, around 9 p.m., something like this. We were waiting so much for this result and finally we got it. So the day after we were able to, to go to the airport uh, with, uh, with the rest of the team and uh, we all uh, left together from uh, Milano Linate. It was a long journey. Uh, travel here was definitely had some differences than the normal pre-COVID travel, you know, lots of uh, checkpoints for COVID tests uh, we needed when we transferred through Munich. Um, we flew from LAX, so our journey was long. But again, we are happy to go through these adjustments and small little additional challenges just to have the opportunity to compete here. It's really good because uh, uh, it's no more than our training, so it's a uh, it's protective us and uh, make us uh, healthy and uh, can make the competition keep going. I think uh, I just talk about uh, another athlete uh, that's uh, like a dream. It's a long time no competition and. Uh, this time we go to the foreign for the competition. It's for us, it's uh, fabulous, yeah. The flight was good. All the procedure we did in the airports was pretty fast. And 
that's actually my first time being flying during this quarantine thing because the the year a bit more I spent it in Moscow um, and it feels good to be back on the plane <laughs> and I'm just happy to be here yeah we we flew through from Milano Linate to Frankfurt and already was weird not to be in Italy because lately we don't go out from our, our city so even out our country it's like big big deal yeah and uh, from Fa- Frankfurt we jump on the flight uh, through Stockholm and uh, was very um, very weird to fly actually <laughs> I think in my life in our life we took so many flights but for this uh, landing I felt again like first time you know it was fun really fun Ciao a tutti, allora stiamo andando in hotel eh, dall'aeroporto, stiamo attraversando il centro della città, è molto bello. Ciao, Ciao. Vedesse. Nani, qua, ragazzi qui. E niente, il primo step è fatto, il volo è andato e il prossimo step è arrivare in hotel, fare il test e ci aspettano un indicatore di quarantena. So we started working with this current bubble concept in autumn. It was about um, October, November, basically when we started really um, the discussions on how to set up the bubble with the hotel, with the ice rink, and with the whole concept involved, the logistics. And basically uh, October, November was, was the beginning point of the deep discussions. It's only the new things that you have to adapt to your routine, like you cannot touch everything, you have to wear the mask all the time. And uh, that's what makes it a bit like different and weird in a way, but now they, this is part of our reality. So flying is just one more thing. We learned a lot how to host an event in a different situation. Because uh, it's unknown for everybody, this worldwide pandemic. Uh, Of course, the situation here in Stockholm is a different one than we normally have during a world's. But we also are facing with a different situation worldwide in the different countries. I must say, we learned a lot how to meet this challenge. And uh, I'm sure, uh, because we had also the the bubble in uh, speed skating and a short track speed skating, now we are uh, doing our job in a uh, professional way as possible. In the field of figure skating, I'm sure this is also a learning uh, process also, uh, not only for our disciplines, ISU disciplines, but also for uh, the world of sports worldwide and even the Olympic Games, the upcoming Olympic Games. This pandemic situation, it was complicated for everyone on the planet, not just for for me. That period gave me a lot of time to think about my life, about my career. And, you know, during that period, I realized that I had to change something in my practice, in my life. We had a bubble also when we were in um, our training camp. So we arrived, everybody was tested. We did a PCR test, everybody was isolated in their room. And then after that, everybody was allowed out. So we're used to the bubble context. 
I was a little bit more worried about what the restrictions were going to be because in a competition usually we have our own routines and the way we uh, walk around, train, who we contact with, our friends who we know from different countries who have come in and we can't really hug them or talk to them properly. So, I mean, there's some things that feel a bit weird considering this is a competition. But in general sense, uh, I think in some way you're more careful, more concentrated, more focused on your yourself and, your, and the competition and your partner. So I think that this is an unusual experience that we're able to experience uh, in competition context. We see the quality of, of the skating around us every day and we just like, oh, everybody is training. <laughs> you got you, you to gotta go, you know, and, and, and we know what it takes. So, so I think that's just, that's really the best of it, just being surrounded by, by the best. I think this big pandemic also uh, made us realize that we never know what could happen. So not skating for a whole year in competition, as much as we enjoyed the training, we're enjoying the crowd and uh, it's something that we missed a lot. Yeah. I do hope that everyone is able to leave this competition safe. We're not able to see the city and get out. You just go there, maybe 10 minutes, and then you go back in the room to focus. For five minutes and you're in the ring. So it's okay that there are some rules that we need to follow. It doesn't matter with rules or without. I really do believe that the ISU have done as much as they can. I am definitely pleased with the event.